Hello guys, welcome to the May deals of the month. A bit earlier in the month than normal, so hope you like that. We've got some new categories in this month. I've been listening to all the feedback that I've been getting from you, so thanks very much for all that. Good and bad, I might say. Um, and I've put some new categories in. We've got a lot more categories actually, so we've got 10 in total now. Um, I won't go through them all, you can see them as you go through the video, but hopefully we've got a bit more of something for everyone. That's what I'm trying to do with this, is try and come up with something for everyone. Again, I'm only looking at the best deals, okay? So there may be great cars, not so great cars, but I'm looking at great value deals. So do keep that in mind. Okay, so the first of these new categories is the Bargain Hunter. So on this one, I'm looking for the cheapest car I can possibly get on a lease. Um, and it's really as simple as that. So this has got to be the cheapest possible car I can get on a lease at the moment. Some months it's going to be cheaper than others, it just depends what's out there. Okay, so this one's a Nissan Micra 1 litre IGT 92 Act Centre. Okay. So it's the normal three months up front, 36 monthly payments, 10,000 miles, all these will be. And how much is that one going to cost you? Um, it's just almost 16 grand car, 0 to 60 and 11.8. It's all right, isn't it, for a little sort of city car. It's got DAB, um, cruise control, Bluetooth. Uh, it's a petrol, £149 a month. £149.14. pence. Some of these coming up here are cheaper, but they're on um, higher deposit and longer length um, terms. So you'll often see a really cheap price advertised and you look and oh, actually instead of three months up front, it's like nine months up front and instead of 36 months, it's um, uh, 48 months. And instead of 10,000 miles a year, it's on 5,000 miles a year. So with all these cars, you can always get them cheaper. Um, I try and look for a middle of the road deal with the, the three plus, 35 and the 10,000 miles okay but if you really really want a cheap car and you don't do huge amounts of miles you can bring it down uh, different ways so yeah that one's um, it's got 230 quid fee on it uh, 447 quid up front on top of that um, and then 149 pounds a month I mean it's not an exciting car by any means but it's a nice enough little car and a, a run around for 150 quid a month for a brand new car you can't really argue with it. Right, next we're going on to the crossover. Okay, so this is one a lot of people have been asking for, is a Range Rover Evoque. You're going to be looking at about 1,500 quid on this particular one, and then 375 a month. If you look at some of these, they might have lower fees, and sometimes it works out a bit better to, to look at some of the other deals. But um, great little cars, massively popular. They sort of changed the game a bit for, for Land Rover, didn't they? Brought in a whole new type of customer. Um, a bit bit sort of younger and funky feeling than some of the others in the range. And, um, I mean, they look great, don't they? It's a shrunken Range Rover, basically. So, yeah, it looks cool. Um, I think it's a great price on that. If you compared that to what you'd be looking at on a PCP for the same car, I mean, that's a that's very, very good value. So this month's EV is a Nissan Leaf, not for the first time. The deal on this is absolutely stonking, I think. This is a completely electric car. Um, I think the range on this one's about 160 miles. So it only works really if you do relatively short journeys, probably like for your daily commute. It's going to be absolutely ideal. You never, never see a petrol station again. You're just going to charge your thing up at home or um, in Tesco's or at your place of work maybe. But for a completely electric vehicle, the price is fairly astounding, I think. And these these do represent great value for money. Because you, you watch the reviews on these, and they're very good. Much better than previous generations of Leaf. I think the current one is, is a very, very decent car. Uh, not 60 in 6.9 seconds, which is <laughs> it's just funny and something like that. It's that with the electric cars because they've got that instant torque. All the power's there instantly. So you, you get some crazy 0-60 times out of these cars that don't look like they're particularly threatening to anyone. So it's a £33,000 car, this one. It's got leather, alloys, aircon, cruise control, DAB, USB, 
automatic gearbox obviously how much is this one I think you're gonna be surprised 257 quid a month so it's a, uh, about a thousand pounds down a bit over a thousand pounds down and then 257 quid a month need I say more it's probably gonna cost you about four pence a mile to run it I mean that's a great deal. Okay, the big exec, and we, we couldn't have gone much bigger than this one, could we really? So the BMW 7 Series, this is the absolute peak in terms of the BMW saloons. Um, so 730 diesel, uh, and this mild hybrid turbo, so like a lot of these cars now, they have that mild hybrid technology, has a second system that effectively charges up um, battery and stores electricity as you drive and then um, I think on these they're using it to like cut the turbo lag and you've seen it before with those stop start systems where they use energy that's been retained from the brake all that kind of stuff is just developing more and more and more and, and I think we're not too far away from almost you know most cars coming with with mild hybrid technology which is which is what this one has so um, total up front is £1,602 on this one, and then it's 534 quid a month. So it's quite a lot of money every month, but when you consider what that car is and the actual cost of it, I mean, that's a gigantic, absolute, you know, luxury beast of a car. Look, I mean, we're talking full exec spec. It's basically a lounge with a wheel at each corner, all digital dash, big sat nav, you know, it's basically you sit in an armchair and drive around in your lounge. 0 to 60 and it's 5.9 seconds. You think of the weight of that thing. Um, not 5.9 seconds in something that big and heavy. Um, 286 brake horsepower. Um, what else have we got to share there? Rear wheel drive, as you would expect for this kind of thing. Spec wise, it's just can have just about everything you can imagine on it um, yeah absolute monster of a car absolute monster so that's the big exec shocking no not not an a6 for once not a 5 series for once um, we've got the 7 series there we go okay the family hatchback we've seen one of these before and um, I don't like to put the same cars on all the time but it's just such a good deal and they're just such great value cars as a reminder the Seat Leon is built on the same underpinnings as like the Golf, the Audi A3 um, I think the Skoda Octavia um, and they're just fantastic cars they're, they're kind of I guess they're at the no frills end of the VW Audi group but I've had a couple of them as high cars before and they're, they're perfectly decent cars to knock about in I really like them actually. I prefer the look of them to a Golf. I don't know about anyone else, but I find the Golf a little bit boring. Um, I know I'll probably get shot for that because VW is sort of hello ground for a lot of people, but I think they're cool cars. You know, this one's not going to blow anyone's skirt up. It's not 60 in 9.4 seconds. It's the 1.5 TSI. I particularly like that engine. I think it's really revvy and a bit of a laugh to drive, even though it's not that fast. Um, Evo FR spec, so you've got parking sensors, park assist, LED headlights, climate control, alloys, you know, it's fairly well specced, um, but the price is, is great, so it's a 24 grand car, that is yours for 900 quid down and £217 a month. What is there to argue with really? A stonking value, great car. Okay, next we've got the midlife crisis, and I think we've seen one of these before, but it's just such a good midlife crisis car, and it's such a good deal that we have to have another Audi TT. This one's the 45 TFSI S-Line, S-Tronic, so it's um, got the automatic gearbox, and this one's got the tech pack on it as well. 0-60 to 60 on this little thing is... 5.8 seconds. So that's a very quick little car. 
very very quick little car um, and if you can imagine it's very small you low to the ground it's got that sort of go-kart appeal they're a little bit marmite in terms of looks i suppose uh, I, I think they're great looking but you know it's people always call it hairdresser's car and um you know all right great i don't see the hairdresser very much so it wouldn't bother me if i happen to have the same car 347 pounds a month and about 1200 quid down it's all right, isn't it? If you were to buy that car, uh, 39 and a half grand. 39 and a half grand. Or you can just stick 1200 quid down on it and 347 pound a month over your three years. Again, PCP on a car like that is going to be so much heavier on the deposit and on the monthly payments and at the end of your, your three years, you're probably just going to give it back anyway because it's going to have that big balloon payment that you can't afford to pay. Um, or you'd have to refinance, and the, the refinance is going to cost you more than that every month. Madness. I hope you're enjoying the video, guys. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Thank you. I had um, a, a little comment on my last video from a chap called Bartek004, and he complained that all my cars were boring in my video. And I get where he's coming from, right? But So I'm just going to address this in case anyone else thinks the cars are boring. What I'm trying to do is show really good value cars. You know, 90% of the people watching might consider driving. Um, and what I didn't have was like a category for the petrol head. We've got like the midnight life crisis category, but... To me, the midlife crisis has to be a bit... Something that would be tragic for a, a man of a certain age to be driving around in. Where I think there's room for something else. So I've got a new category, and it's called the quick one. Because we all like a quick one, don't we, ladies and gents? We do like a quick one. So this is um, a, a big shout out to Bartek on this one. Because we wouldn't have this category without him. And hopefully it shows you the value of leaving a comment and giving me some stick or telling me how wonderful something is. Because if we get to the point where we have too many categories, I might take one away or who knows. But yeah, thanks. Um, BMW 1 Series. So this is the M135i X-Drive. Um, and it's Steptronic Auto. So it's a four-wheel drive uh, 1 Series. But... Importantly, it's got that M in front of it, which we like, don't we? Because it makes us go fast. We like M's, don't we, Bartek? Let's have a look at this. 0 to 62 in 4.8 seconds and 306 brake horsepower. Proper. It says combined MPGs, 41 and a half. I guess if you drive it very frugally, but most people like this are uh, that want a car like this are probably going to drive it like they've stolen it. So um, I doubt if you'd get anywhere near that in the real world. But um, what a piece of machinery that is. How, I mean, how cool looking is it as well? I think that new 1 Series is, is by far the best looking car in its class. I, I've previously felt it lagged a little bit behind, say, the A3 and certainly like the Mercedes A class. I think now it wipes the floor with, with both of them. Um, Stunning looking car. Let's have a look at the interior. It's not the best angle, is it? But again, I think the interior's come on. I think it used to lag behind. Certainly behind um the Audi and the Mercedes, and I think it's it's up there now. Eleven hundred quid up front, three hundred and seventy five pounds a month. Okay, three hundred and seventy five quid a month, eleven hundred up front. That's not bad, is it? Okay, so we've had a bit of excitement there, so we're going to bore you to tears now. We're going to go with the Super City car. Again, we've seen one of these, I think, once before, but it's just a great deal for a, a practical, sort of great little town car. It's the Vauxhall Corsa. This one's the 1.2 Turbo Elite Edition. There are cheaper ones of this available, but I thought the Elite had, had a bit of spec on it. Um, and to be honest, you, can't, you can save about £20 a month for the absolute base spec model but this one seemed to be better value than you know one with next to to no equipment in it 
yeah, £545 down. And then 182 quid a month, basically. Great little car. What's the 0 to 60 in this little bad boy? 9.3. It's not bad for a little town car, is it? Uh, it's got cruise control with intelligent speed limiter, front camera system, lane departure warning with lane assist, color touch screen, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Bluetooth. I mean, that's a really well spec little car. Sometimes these small cars lack some of the spec that you 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 get in the larger variant kind of thing. But um, it's a really really well spec little car, and for such a small down payment and 182 quid a month. That makes a lot of sense to a lot of people, and having a look at it, you know, you're not be embarrassed to be driving around in that, are you? Like, it's quite a nice looking little car. Okay, the SUV. There's that phrase, go big or go home. Well, I've, I'm at home, but I've also gone big. Um, 1,900 quid up front, 542 pounds a month. I know it's a lot of money, but it's a lot of car. It's the VW Touareg, and I've gone specifically for the Black Edition. I've gone for the Black Edition just because it's the coolest looking one. It's got a, a bit more spec on it than the other trim levels. If you want to drop down the trim levels, you could probably save about 40 quid a month. But um, again, sometimes it's a better value to have more toys thrown onto the car, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Let's have a look at it. Um, so this, of course, is VW's version of the Audi Q7, um, built on the same platform and what have you. But I really, really like the exterior. I prefer it to the Q7, um, and the interior is quite nice as well. Still very VW. It's that same steering wheel that's been in every one of them for donkey's years but all this is digital like those there's two massive screens that um almost sort of blend into one and uh, i think it's really cool I like it a lot it room for about four bodies in that boot so that's great but no nice nice big beast of a car that's this month's F suv finally the wild card and look how wild this one is as always, sometimes the wild card is insanely practical, sometimes it's a bit nutty. Um, this one's insanely practical. If you've got kids and a dog, I've got kids and a dog, something like this is about as boring and unglamorous as can be, but is probably about as useful to you as can be. There you go, that sort of says it all really, doesn't it? So you've got the back seats folded completely down. You see the back of it, you've got a ton of space in the thing and slidey doors on the side as well. So great for getting kids in and out of car seats in tight spaces. Just insanely practical little car. Not the most exciting thing in the world, but if you've got a family, particularly a young family, and maybe a dog or just you're taking scooters and things out or all the, all the stuff you have to take out the house with you, you've got a push chair. Something like this is just insanely useful to you. Um, 216 quid a month, 848 quid up front. Um, for Toneo Courier, 1.5 TDCI Titanium Edition. Again, I think there's one for just under 200, the ZTEC spec, but Titanium, you get so much more. And all, quite often that bottom spec level is missing the things that you really want. So you have to go up one or two levels uh, to get the bits that are important to most people. So what do we think, guys? What do we think of those new categories? Let me know in the comments below and tell me what you think about the rest of the choices and what looks like great value for you. We've got a few expensive cars in there this month, um, but we've also got you know that micro at the start for under 150 quid a month. It's going to make a lot of sense to a lot of people, as is that Corsa, which I think is great spec for the money. If my pick of the bunch this month, if I were to take one of those on myself, I think I'd either want that ginormous and completely pointless SUV or the little BMW. I mean, what was it, sub five seconds, 0 to 60 on that? And I just think they're amazing looking cars and they've come on leaps and bounds. So let's have your comments below. Keep engaged, guys. Please thumbs up 
and please, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Keep watching, thanks very much. Thank you.